Coronavirus is a family of viruses which include SARS, MRSA, and the new 2019 NCOV, which was recently discovered in Wuhan, China. Viruses are different to bacteria and fungi because once they enter the body, they're able to use your body's own cells to replicate themselves very quickly. The new coronavirus is no different, and the fact that it's in the news is causing a lot of panic throughout the world. If you look at the coronavirus through a microscope, they have these spiky areas which look like a halo, which is why they were given the name coronavirus. If you are infected with coronavirus, it will affect your respiratory system, resulting in pneumonia. Symptoms would include chest pain, fever, congestion, and coughing. The new coronavirus was discovered in Wuhan, China, where it was transmitted initially from animals to humans. But now that the virus has spread and infected more people, it's been confirmed that the virus is able to be passed on from human to human. This means that it can be passed on by coughing and close contact with those infected. By close contact, it means being within five feet of someone who's infected for a long period of time without the appropriate protection, like a face mask. This sounds like something to be scared of, but the normal flu or influenza is transmitted in the exact same way. The reason it's become a panic in the media is because of how quickly the virus has been passed on to other people. Here is a map showing the affected areas. Because China is so densely populated, contamination and transmission of the virus is easier when there's more people around you. So should we be panicking? And in my opinion, we shouldn't. Because of the 3,000 cases reported, there's been about 81 deaths. Bear in mind, there may be a large number of people infected with the virus who have not suffered severe enough symptoms to physically go to the hospital for treatment, so they won't be included in this data. So they've just healed normally. Um, the problem at this stage is that there's no vaccination for the prevention of coronavirus, which means vulnerable people in the community, like the elderly, or those with immune deficiencies are at risk of death. But that's no different to if they were infected with influenza, so the exact same precautions as influenza need to be taken for those vulnerable people. Influenza causes around 400,000 deaths per year globally. So in my opinion, there's no reason to panic at this stage, but, the, but general precautions should be taken anyway. So hand washing, keeping away from people who are sick is really important to do. If the number of coronavirus cases increases exponentially and it's not contained within the region, it will be declared as a public health emergency by the World Health Organization.